It came to pass at that time that Judah departed from his brothers and visited a certain Adelamite whose name was Hira. And Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shua. And he married her and went into her. So she conceived and bore a son. And he called his name Ur. She conceived again and bore a son. And she called his name Onan. And she conceived yet again and bore a son and called his name Shelah. He was at Kizib when she bore him. Then Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, and her name was Tamar. But Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord killed him. And Judah said to Onan, Go in to your brother's wife and marry her, and raise up an heir to your brother. But Onan knew that the heir would not be his. And it came to pass, when he went in to his brother's wife, that he omitted on the ground, lest he should give an heir to his brother. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord. Therefore he killed him also. Then Judah said to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow in your father's house till my son Sheila is grown, lest he also die like his brothers. And Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. Now in the process of time, the daughter of Shua, Judah's wife, died. And Judah was comforted and went up to his sheep shearers at Timnah, he and his friend Hira the Adalamite. And it was told Tamar, Look, your father-in-law is going up to Timnah to shear his sheep. So she took off her widow's garments, covered herself with a veil, and wrapped herself, and sat in an open place which was on the way to Timnah. For she saw that Sheila was grown, and she was not given to him as a wife. When Judah saw her, he thought she was a harlot, because she had covered her face. Then he turned to her by the way. Please let me come in to you for he did not know that she was his daughter-in-law. What will you give me that you may come in to me? I will send a young goat from the flock. Will you give me a pledge till you send it? What pledge shall I give you? Your signet and cord and your staff that is in your hand. Then he gave them to her and went into her and she conceived by him. So she arose and went away, and laid aside her veil, and put on the garments of her widowhood. And Judah sent the young goat by the hand of his friend, the Adalamite, to receive his pledge from the woman's hand, but he did not find her. Then he asked the men of that place, Where is the harlot who was openly by the roadside? There was no harlot in this place. So he returned to Judah. I cannot find her. Also the men of the place said there was no harlot in this place. Let her take them for herself, lest we be shamed. For I sent this young goat, and you have not found her. And it came to pass, about three months after, that Judah was told, Tamar, your daughter-in-law, has played the harlot. Furthermore, she is with child by harlotry. Bring her out and let her be burned. When she was brought out, she sent to her father-in-law. By the man to whom these belong, I am with child. Please determine whose these are, the signet and cord and staff. So Judah acknowledged them. She has been more righteous than I, because I did not give her to Sheila, my son. And he never knew her again. Now it came to pass, at the time for giving birth, that behold, twins were in her womb. And so it was, when she was giving birth, 
that the one put out his hand, and the midwife took a scarlet thread and bound it on his hand. This one came out first. And it happened, as he drew back his hand, that his brother came out unexpectedly. How did you break through? This breach be upon you. Therefore, his name was called Pires. Afterward, his brother came out, who had the scarlet thread on his hand, and his name was called Zira. <laughs>